I was extremely proud of the team tonight. Um, I think that, you know, as we talked about, lots of adversity in the fall, and for them to still have their routines um, in competition shape today just, again, speaks volumes of how much courage and how much talent this team has. And I'm, uh, I think this is an excellent starting point, always lots of room to improve, but I think for them to go out there and just enjoy being out there and show their gymnastics, uh, I think they've been waiting for this for a while. Taylor Swift song was for fun, and they all gave an answer. Do you have an answer to that question? For Taylor Swift? Yeah. Oh, probably 22. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, so, I mean, we, we've, as a group, we've talked a little bit about um, kind of like you stepping into the head coaching role, obviously. Um, now that, like, you actually got the chance to, to do it in a, in a meet, like, how did that kind of feel? Did it feel any different than the past where, obviously, you were a volunteer coach and then mm -hmm. just being, like, did, how, how different does it feel to kind of have everything uh, yeah. on your plate, whatever. Yeah, I was actually thinking about it today, like before I got here and then once I was in the arena. And to be honest, I know my title has changed, but I still just feel like I'm a member of the team. And um, I'm just one role of a whole group of important roles. And that's really how I look at it, is I have my position, and it's just equally as important as the rest of our staff's position and our team's position and just to have this opportunity to be out there and be a part of this program in whatever capacity is um, just a true dream. So obviously this event is just is basically just for the fans, right, mm -hmm. um, to introduce the team and, and to kind of get them excited for the season and stuff like that. How much can you actually glean competitive, competitively from an event like this, if anything at all? I think quite a bit. I mean, I think that although there weren't scores and there's not another team, just being out here in front of all of these fans feels very similar to a meet. So I think that we can take a lot from it. Um, you know, one thing I talked to the team about at the end tonight was um, just take a moment and recognize what worked tonight because a lot of things went really well. And because those are going to be the same tools and skills we're going to need when it counts at our first meet. Who stood out to you? Tonight? Yeah. Um, I mean, honestly, the whole team did, but I was so proud of the freshmen and Ashley, first time being out here. This is more fans than they've ever competed in front of. Um, and for them to go out there and just do their routines that they do in practice every day, that really stood out to me a lot. You had multiple gymnasts competing all around tonight. Is that going to be the norm going into the season? Or are you going to try to share the load amongst the gymnasts? I think, well, there will be a lot of sharing going on, but yeah, we'll definitely have some all-arounders throughout the season. Um, but, you know, it was pretty cool. We had 14 athletes go. We have 14 on our team. And for them to all have a chance to go tonight, um, I think is really important to our team and understanding that everybody has a critical role in the program. How would you assess the leadership of the girls on the team? Like, you have the three fifth years, you have a good, strong senior class, you have some good juniors. How would you assess that leadership you guys have? Yeah, I think it's amazing. I mean, I think we're so lucky to have those girls come back for their um, fifth year. Um, to be able to um, demonstrate their leadership role to our freshmen and to Ashley, I think that that has bonded our team and has really strengthened our team and has given confidence um, to our freshmen moving forward. What would you, I know again it's kind of hard with this type of meet, but anything you can kind of pick out that maybe you're going to go and work on before January 5th? Yeah, definitely our landings. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure if you know, but there was a rule change this year with our landings. So you have to hold the finish for one whole second before you move. Otherwise, you get a .05 deduction. So uh, we had a couple that did that tonight, but that's definitely going to be something judges are going to watch critically for. And we absolutely will need to do a better job with that. Vault, obviously, you guys have to go fully on mm -hmm. vault because it's not the softest event yeah. for the gymnast. Do you have six 10 -0 vaults? How many 10 -0 vaults do you think you guys have competition? We have seven competition ready, um, so pretty excited about that. They work really hard on those all fall. Jimmy's been just drilling them away, and um, definitely when we open, our goal is to have six 10 O's for that first meet. It seems like bars was a step forward from where, maybe where it was last season. What mm -hmm. have 
the girls done differently on, on that event so far? Yeah, I mean, bars was really impressive tonight because that's the event we lost the most depth on. We lost three bar workers. Um, and, you know, I think our freshmen bring in a lot of talent and a lot of confidence in that event. Um, three routines are pretty new. Emily's routine is pretty new. Grace's routine is new. And McKenna's routine is fairly new. So I think some adjustments with some skill changes. Um, also, I mean, Jimmy is a bar wizard. So he is incredible, and I think that um, bringing in some of his technical expertise has really helped as well. Also on theme, the, it seems to be just as deep, and maybe <laughs> even a little bit deeper than years past. Mm -hmm. how, how hard is it going to be for you to whittle that, that, yeah. that number down to six to go? It's been really hard all fall. <laughs> when we've done our inner squads, um, afterwards we always give them a depth chart, and um, that's been the event where I've listed six names and then been like, and these four could also go in at any point, which is really great because, you know, we lost Crystal Esau in that event, pretty tough routine to replace. Um, next year, you know, Miley and Abby will be graduating, so continuing to develop um, our younger athletes to take those spots is, is critical to the success of not just being but our program. Um, you know, opportunities like this kind of show who's going to be ready to handle the pressure. All of them could score really well. It's just going to be who can do it when it counts the most. As for freshmen, who do you see possibly getting a start first for you guys? Um, I mean, Liz, Elizabeth Gantner, she was our sixth person as our lead off when we did our depth charts after Thanksgiving. I think that she has a, an excellent chance of being there. I mean, Cami Winger's theme is beautiful. Um, but I am, I am extremely impressed with Ella Zerbis. That is not her event. Um, that was not her event in club. When she got here, she was like, I do not like this event. And she is determined to be an all-arounder. And she has worked extremely hard. Um, and to see her out there tonight to do that beam routine, I was ex just so proud of her. McKenna wasn't at all phased last year as a freshman. She seemed to step right in and was ready to go. She seems even more comfortable this year and more like this is her element. What have you seen from her growth-wise from last year to this year? Because she just seems way more confident even, even though she was last year. Yeah, I, I mean, I think McKenna loves gymnastics and she just loves performing and she just loves being out there. Um, freshman year is hard. You know, it's hard for a lot of reasons. Um, and I think that she used last year to gain some tools of how to handle big meets. She was, you know, competing on multiple events at nationals. So I think just carrying over that confidence that was built through last season, that's where her starting point was this fall. And it's just continued to grow. And we will likely see her as an all-arounder this year, you know, numerous times. Um, but she just, like I said, I think she's just passionate about the sport. What's it like for you having coached Abby and Miley on beam for a very long time mm -hmm. and seeing those routines for a very long time? What's it like for you to watch them just go up there and do what they're capable of? Yeah, I, I have. I've coached them for quite a few years now. And just to see them go up there, and still every year I feel like they keep getting a little better. You know, even when they get tens, you're like, how is that possible? But they just keep growing and just gaining better perspective of what they're doing and um, just truly going up there and enjoying the moment of being up there. I was really proud of Abby. Sometimes she has a slow start in preseason and her first few meets. And for her to go up there and just do what she practices every day, um, I think that's just the start of a, a really big season for her. The floor has sometimes maybe been a little, sound feels really harsh, mm -hmm. but, but it seems like you guys have really mixed things up this year with like music and, and yeah. The things within the routines, you know, what what was the game plan heading into this year for that event? Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, I think we feel like in the past we could be a little more expressive and a little more entertaining and, and exciting, and that was really a goal for our, for our whole program at the end of last year. Um, we spent like months and months looking for music and we really thought about the fans this year. We were like, what do our fans want to hear? What's going to get them excited? When I, when I presented La Bamba to Miley, she was like, what is this? I'm like, don't worry, all of the fans in the Huntsman will know what La Bamba is. She's like, okay, I like it, but I'm like, okay, I'm getting old. <laughs> But uh, we really did think about our fans when we um, were picking music, and Maya's done an exceptional job. She kind of took on the challenge to make it a little more intricate with some of the choreography um, and has spent a lot of time refining it, and um, I think that it's going to elevate our scores significantly this year.
other than the bomb pop, were there other songs that were chosen where a, a gymnast was like, what is this, or this doesn't sound good, or whatever, anything like that? Um, I think, like, Cammy Winger's music, she was kind of like, this is weird, and I was like, oh, don't worry, weird is good. People <laughs> like weird. And, um, yeah, I mean, I think t uh, Taylor Swift, obviously, has been something that Abby's wanted to do for years, and we said, this is happening. We don't know how it's going to happen yet, but it has to happen. And so for that, you know, for her to be able to have that, I think that she's been waiting for five years. So <laughs> we were joking that McKenna discovered the 70s. Does she know who John Travolta is? Probably not. <laughs> yeah, that was actually another one that when we were thinking of music and McKenna's just so fun, right? Yeah. Such a great personality and spirit to her that only McKenna Smith could pull off a 70s floor routine. So. Forgive the ignorant question, but does that mean that like the gymnasts do not choose their own songs for their routine? That you guys as coaches choose it for them, and they kind of have to adjust to that? It's collaborative. Okay. Uh, we definitely open up to them if they have ideas, but a lot of the times they like what's like on the pop charts, and you know, then you take out the lyrics, and you're like, oh, <laughs> there's nothing there. <laughs> so um, it's a lot of back and forth, um, and then sometimes we're like, okay, this will work for you, and we just kind of go from there. So Jaden's had like a like a drag race type element her last two years. Has that been like her idea? Yeah, routine? her and Maya have worked really closely on that. That is the two of them together, and that's definitely her uh, her style. All right, now real question for all of you: How did it feel to kind of you know showcase to the to the quote unquote world, uh, you know, this team, the 2023-24 team? What was it just like being out there for the first time this season? Um, I think it's really exciting to be back out there um, and just seeing the amount of depth we have in our team this year. I mean, we had to split up into two groups for the last rotations because there were just so many of us. So I'm excited to see um, just every person get their chance to perform and go out there and compete. Um, and I'm just really excited because this team has so much potential and just so much depth to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. I love going out and competing, so being back on the floor is one of my favorite things in the world. And I can't wait to see how our freshmen do and how all the people who came back, I want to see all of them build off of everything they did last year, so so excited. Um, after just being able to watch the Red Rocks on TV for like years, it was just amazing for me. I was almost tearing up when they were announcing my name because it was just such a great experience to actually be down on the floor with this team. I think it's just the best team I could think of to be a freshman on because we're all so strong and we support each other so much and I think we really demonstrated that tonight. How would you um, quote unquote assess Carly's first like meet as the head coach of this team? Uh, I think she did absolutely amazing. I mean with the transition from one coach to another she made it seamless and we all feel so supported and just amazing like out there and she just makes us feel so confident in ourselves and it's just been truly the best experience. I absolutely love Carly's energy, I always have, so I'm so happy that she gets to bring it to us on all four events this year, so very excited. Yeah, I agree with Grace. Carly makes me feel really confident and proud of myself, so it was great to have her as a head coach kind of leading us today. McKenna, you really stood out in this meet last year, uh, and you stood out again this year. You, what feels different this year now that you're not a freshman and kind of new? Um, I know what 15,000 fans feel like. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> but um, honestly, I feel nothing feels like crazy different. Like this year, my floor routine, I feel like it's really fun. Like I can engage with the crowd a lot more. So super excited with that. But honestly, I just was happy to be out competing again and I feel like that's where I thrive. Grace is one of the upperclassmen on this team. Is that changing your leadership style with the rest of the team, or how has taking that like upperclassman role changed for you? Um, I feel like I still try to be just the same old Grace I always am, but I guess since I do have a little more experience on the team, just kind of taking that and guiding the, the younger ones along. If they have any questions, I always want to be there for them and just, just know that I support them no matter what. Um, just kind of being there for them, playing that more mother role, I guess, and not being the newbie and clueless. So I'm really excited for that. <laughs> so this is for Grace and Hannah. How would you assess all of the, the new faces on the team? There's obviously five new girls on the team this year. How would you assess their progress so far and how they're acclimating to the team? I think they're doing absolutely amazing. I mean, they have so many strengths, and they're such a powerhouse of a class that 
um, you know, they can contribute so much to this team, and I'm so excited to see what the future holds for them because they're all stars. I I just think they're so amazing. I love them and can't wait to be with them for the next three years. And it's been really fun the past couple months, like getting to know them and their like personalities, like coming out and everything. So I can't wait to see what like meet season does to them. And I wish them the best. They're gonna be amazing. <laughs> Ella, you mentioned watching the Red Rocks on TV. I'm mm -hmm. curious, have you ever watched them in person before? I actually never got to chan the chance to. So this is my first time like being in the Huntsman with the actual team. So, <laughs> so how did that feel? How did this environment feel? Honestly, it felt not real. It felt like a dream come true. Like I honestly, after I competed, I was just taking it all in. I was like, wow, I actually just did this. I'm on the team. It was just an amazing time for me. <laughs> Have you gotten any tips on how to handle the 15,000 fans when the season actually like starts? Um, I'd say just, taking deep breaths, especially for me. After I salute, I just take my time, I take a deep breath, and I'm like, I'm doing this for me, I'm doing this for my team. No one else matters, basically, at that point, so. Grace, near the, uh, well, in February of uh, this past, I can't, season, <laughs> season, year, whatever, in February this year, um, obviously you got hurt, you took a little bit of time for you to get back, but you did, you were able to come back at the end of the season, um, especially for, for postseason and stuff like that. Um, did you have to do any kind of like uh, more rehab or any of that kind of stuff like during the off season to make sure that you were good to go at the start? Um, yeah, so I mean, there's a lot of rehab like leading up to nationals, just making sure I was ready to compete the two events I did. And I think the coaches and like staff did an amazing job of that. And then after I, you know, came back into the gym and kept doing more rehab so I could get back to the more of those pounding events. So it wasn't just like a, I'm there, I'm done. It just kind of builds on it each day. Um, and I just kept getting stronger and stronger and coming back for the season.